Hello, today I'm going to talk about whether the ban on Gen Street, which is a leading quantitative trading firm, will have an impact on the quant job market in India. We have to go into the details, but let's start with uh, a bit of an intro. You probably have heard about this news that SEBI, which is the capital market regulator in India, has uh, put a ban on Gen Street to trade in the Indian market. And it has created quite a buzz. Many people are posting about it on LinkedIn, including people from around the world, not just from India, but even people from New York and London and Singapore. They're talking about it on different social media platforms, specifically people working in finance. You know, the, the different quants, different uh, traders are talking about it. In fact, some companies uh, even are talking against uh, Gen Street and talking that you know it's been a practice for gen street and uh, it's not uh, a surprise or shouldn't be a surprise for many some of my connections from london even i were talking about it on linkedin i was a bit of a surprise that it has really created quite a buzz around the world so what is it about well <coughs> uh, gen street has been uh, doing some malpractices in the indian capital market in the option trading in particular and that has created uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, problem for the regulator. Well, it, in the in the regulatory language, it is a manipulation. Uh, but uh, whether it is actually a manipulation is something that is a bit of a subject to interpretation. And people might have their own views and, and, and things like that. But given that it's it has come from the regulator, I think it uh, should be, you know, so will be well accepted as a manipulation. Right. Well, people from Gen Street would may have a different version of uh, an argument. And as far as I know, there is no statement yet from Gen Street on that. Right? How is that going to impact the job market in India uh, for people aspiring to work in the you know quantitative firms? First of all, the quant job market in India can be categorized into three different categories. Okay, first. The job market for quant traders or people who are, you know, expecting to work in uh, the trading area uh, as as a quant uh, trader. Uh, the second, I would say, is the quant job market for people wanting to work in in large investment banks such as Goldman Sachs or JPMC or uh, large insurance companies such as AIEZ or you know, large asset management firms such as BlackRock. And the third job market is the local job market. I mean, the job market for, uh, you know, uh, for, you know, working in, in uh, Indian based banks or Indian mix based asset management for mutual funds and, and family offices and so on. Right. The third type of job market will definitely get uh, will definitely not get impacted simply because it's a global form. It's a US based form. So it has nothing to do with uh, the local market there. So probably there will be a bit of an impact because you know this might have an impact in the overall performance of the market maybe in the short term but i don't see that uh, to be uh, a big problem for the local job market for the third category which is the the local banks and the local uh, asset management firms or trading firms there the foreign banks the likes of city and world bank Sachs and JPMC, BNP Paribas, or DBS, you know, there are some hundreds of such large MNC banks out there in India. There, uh, the job market will definitely not get impacted there as well. There may be a bit of a problem with the reputation. Uh, it's not too clear whether, you know, the problem was with the local employees in Gen Street or they were, uh, I mean, the, the, the global employees from other countries the, from the head office were unaware of that very unlikely that is the case but if that was the case then that will have some impact you know there will be a reputation issue uh, and but but i don't think that is the case i think everyone in gen street was well aware of what was going on and um, if that is the case then uh, it's a one-off case and it's not going to have any, any impact in in the job market for for quants in large MNC banks, such as you know the Goldman Sachs or JPMC, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo, 
DBS, Namura, BNP Paribas, HSBC, Barclay, you know, there are a host of such banks, right, in India. So that's not going to change. Uh, the quant job market in consulting firms is the big four consulting firms, but also the big three management uh, consulting firms, even they do hire some funds. So that will remain uh, and that won't change much. I don't see much uh, impact also on the asset management side. There is not many global asset management companies hiring quants in India. There are a few, no doubt, you know, for different different departments they do hire, uh, but that won't get impacted either, in my view. It's also the case for insurance firms such as AIG and, and a few other uh, insurance firms which hire uh, quants in India, or rating agencies such as SNP and Moody's, of which they, they, that won't get impacted for sure. But the first category of the job market, which is uh, the the quant trading job market, which is pretty hot in India. I think most of the aspiring quants, they want to work in this particular area, right? That's where you make the most money, potentially also more interesting, and you can make quick bucks. That's what, that's what uh, everyone wants, right? So that market probably will get impacted a bit, right? To extent of impact is something that is difficult to assess, but there will be some impact nonetheless. Many global firms have recently started operating out of Mumbai and few other locations in India. I know one uh, leading trading firms, uh, one of the leading trading firms in Europe, IMC Trading, has started, uh, you know, hiring quants in in Mumbai. And there are a few others also. Many US trading firms are located in India and they probably are also thinking of expanding. So this particular event will be some kind of an hindrance to their expansion strategy. Again, it's difficult to assess the extent of the impact. But if SEBI is going to be scrutinizing more on these kind of activities and for whatever reason, if that really impacts the profitability of these firms, right? Because there may be a thin line between, you know, um, exploiting inefficiency in the market to generate profit. And oftentimes, it's the retail traders who are in the receiving end and the big institutional traders make chunk of the profit and committing, um, or uh, uh, manipulating the market. So there's a bit of a thin line between uh, exploiting the inefficiency and doing manipulation. In the eyes of the regulator, things might be very different compared to the firms. Now, I don't know if that is indeed the, a case in other firms as well, or maybe other firms are more um, uh, cautious after this uh, particular incident. And maybe there will be a re- uh, rethinking about whether to expand uh, the Indian market or not, or probably the Indian market is not as lucrative as it is. It used to be in the last few years, right? So that may be the case, but there are many quants in these global trading firms. They are hired for the global locations and they do provide support uh, activities such as, you know, uh, you know, doing backend activities. Okay. So I think for middle office and back office related activities, there will still be quite a bit of a demand for quants, but uh, the the job market for quants who would be hired to work uh, doing trading in the Indian market probably will get impacted a bit, if not for long term, but maybe in the short term or medium term. Like, that's my assessment. I could be completely wrong, by the way. Uh, but all in all, the overall job market will not get impacted. It is expanding. I have uh, said it many times on this channel. Uh, there's never beef. There's never been a better demand for quantitative professionals in the finance world in India than in the past. When I graduated over a decade back, things were very, very different. There were only a handful of MNC banks in India hiring quants. Things have changed a lot for the better, uh, which is that lot more banks are now hiring in India. The capacity has changed. The quality of work has also improved. It used to be more back office quantitative work. Now it has 
improved to become more middle office type work in some cases even quantitative work uh, having a pnl impact for a lot of the quant work there is no you know it's not always pnl impact type uh, work you know so it's it's somewhat you know more back office type but that is changing and uh, a lot is getting better so the market is expanding and it is only getting better and more and more banks are outsourcing the quantitative uh, work to india recently i've heard some european banks starting their operations in india us banks have always been there well i think some it started with cities and 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 few other main street banks but even the smaller us banks are now sending work to india so uh, if you are an aspiring quant i would think you should should not be disappointed with this event the people talking negative about it but i think if you are someone who has genuine interest in this field i think you should continue to have this interest and you should uh, yeah aspire to work in this field right this is just a one of an event and this is not uh, something that is happening for the first time in the world these things have happened countless times something or the other would always happen in the world of finance uh, there will always be some regulatory scrutiny there will be findings there will be assessment and there will be cases of fraud and money laundering and, and so on so forth insider trading and you know front loading and and all kinds of this all kinds of uh, activities uh, do happen uh, and these are anomalies these are not very common things in the world of finance so don't worry much about it. especially the students who are aspiring to work in quantitative roles you shouldn't be worried about this event and you should start your preparation make sure that you are well prepared for for the interviews getting the first chance is perhaps in my view the most important part of your career once you are uh, once you are in the job uh, you will be in a much better position to decide or and even grow in your career so that's going to be much easier afterwards so that's what i wanted to share if you have any questions comments do share in the comment section thanks